This'll do. So as you guys can see, I got pretty much everything unpacked. I got a few things that I st still haven't found a place for, like some rags up there and some other storage stuff. But just give you guys a look around. Got the, if you've been following me on Instagram, you've been seeing a lot of this stuff coming up and being organized. But I got drills and the battery chargers set up, cords. Put the toolbox over here. It was previously over in that area. Same with that guy, that shelving unit, I just slid it across. Now that's a little bit less of an awkward space back there, but that might just be a, a storage area for random stuff. Maybe like, you know, step ladder or the big ladder if I put it back there. Um, got back into the lathe stuff, been, uh, got this all set up again. This is all plugged in. I still got a bunch of the wiring and some oddball hardware stuff some of this is, is is extra stuff but some of the stuff i gotta you know put back on the lathe that actually i think is yeah it's sitting back there i don't know if you can see it right there but i uh got the router in place computer is set up shop computer that's also the one that runs the router and when i'm not doing that I'm going to be using it for printing stuff. I got this is a casualty in the in the move. I don't know if you can see that. It's nice and cracked right there on the Buka bot. So we'll be fixing that. Uh, found this guy, printer bot. When this is my you know very first printer. That was what 2012 ish. So that's that's a long time ago, but. Everything's pretty much got spot. Air compressor, showed you guys that before. Got the other one up there, that's more of a storage. And then I got the line run, and then that guy was installed since the last video. Oh, I forgot to, I need to install a little shelf here. A little French cleat system. That way this is up and off the floor. But here's a quick shop update. Right now I'm getting back into the router uh, before I moved, I had bought this guy, the smooth stepper board. This is so you can run it over Ethernet. Um, because this guy, well, that's a two part. One one part is upgrading the router, but two second part of that is this old the C10 board from CNC 4PC. Um, this is kind of obsolete, or when you move to Windows 10. My computer before I moved crapped out on me. Uh, you can see the old one here. Um, the new one has Windows 10 on it. And I tried to get it working with Windows 10, but with the parallel port, it just didn't like it. Some of the forums I saw with Mach 3, um, they just said that they did they just upgraded or they didn't, they just, you know, found a really old PC with XP or Windows 7. But Upgrading this too would allow me to fix some of the issues I had before. I don't know if I have it over here. I had some issues with the pendant. This is a Kickstarter I funded way back when. But also I had a, one of those little hockey pucks, the metallic ones where you could, you know, put one clip on here, one banana clip, or an alligator clip on the end mill and one on the, you know, work piece or the hockey puck itself. And you could use that for tool setting. With this guy, there's a lot of noise and it wouldn't always uh, touch off correctly. So I'm doing that to fix that problem, but also I can add some more fancy stuff or even have more. I got this breakout board for the smooth stepper board. It's got a lot more options for outputs and inputs versus this guy where I'm really limited back here. So right now I'm going through mapping out what all the um, wires go to. So this is kind of a documentation, also a shop update for myself. So I can see where things go, how things are plugged in. You can see over here. I really need to get a, a full enclosure 
for this because you can see it's it's quite dusty. Um, and with this guy, I kind of want to probably treat it a little bit better. So going through this, for those that have a C10 board or want to get a C10 board, even though it's kind of old, uh, you got these inputs over here. This is for the um, enabling the board. This is a five volt power supply. This comes from actually this guy. And then coming over here, this is for the E stop. You can see the cord here. I got it running over there and then it goes around to there. So that's the E stop. That is pins. Pin 10 for me. This too, I'm gonna I'm gonna be documenting the pin layout, but also be going into the computer to write down all of those pin locations for Mach 3. That too, I might upgrade to Mach 4 someday. So this is something that this guy plays nicely with. Um, and so with this, you can see, uh, instead of looking at this over here, I'll show you here. Um, pins 9, the common, and then pin 8, that's for my x-axis. And I have all of these wired up for the four pin aircraft connectors. So they just basically plug right in and then screw on. So going on to my y-axis, it's a little messy here because I, I didn't make it big enough, but my y-axis is pin seven, the common, and then the six, number six, so that goes to the y-axis. Z-axis, I have pin five, pin four, that's for direct, the negative direction, negative pulse, and then positive pulse is the common. And then auxiliary, this is for, oh, the outlet over here that I, I made for the vacuum and then for the router itself. I think I have it on there, written on there. I, I took an outlet and I split it in half. One's for turning the router on and one's for turning the vacuum on that typically sits back there. So that's pretty much it. I've got jumpers here, jumper there, jumper there, and jumper over here. So that's pretty much it. I'm now going to probably take this off, going to install this. I might have to change, yeah, I will, the bolt pattern right here you see I have standoffs right underneath you can see there is a nut and then the board and then a nut on top with a spacer oh there's no spacer but I got I got some plastic spacers I can use that I bought for the the lathe project over here so I want to I'm gonna make it a little bit more nice like this you know not good good so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'll probably get set up and I'll show you guys my pin locations for those that you know are working on trying to get Mach 3 up and running on, on your machine, whether or not you have a smooth stepper board or whether you have a C10 board. Hopefully this information is helpful. So let me get set up and we'll move over there. All right, so here we are. We got Mach 3 set up. Oh, and first, sorry for the video quality. I don't have uh, the screen capture on this computer, so we're going to, have to use the GoPro. But going over to configuration, go to ports and pins, and see here our port address 0x3F8, um, kernel speed 25,000. I'm just going to go through all this and show all the, the highlights of stuff that at least I, I need to know later on, and hopefully it helps you guys. Moving on to the motor outputs tab, we have for the x-axis, y and z, they're all enabled. Step pin is 8, then direction pin is 9. Y-axis, uh, step pin is 6, direction pin is 7. And then z-axis, step pin is 4, and direction pin is 5. And then, I don't know why there's pins here, but I'm not using the a-axis. 
And then both of these over here, or all of these are just one. And that's pretty much it there. Go into input signals. I don't think anything is activated here. Possibly the e-stop, yep. So we've got the e-stop, that is checked. Port number one, pin number 10. Uh, you guys saw that earlier on the little schematic I had and also on the board. Uh, active low is checked on and that's pretty much it. Go into output signals. Don't have anything here, I don't think. Uh, encoder MPGs, I think this is just, I beyond this, I don't think I've, ever, I've used, oh, here we go, here's stuff. Uh, so this is the relay control. This is for the spindle on and the vacuum I was talking about earlier. So output, actually no, I think it's this. Maybe I'm confused, but either way, here's the the mist. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is this is correct right here. So M7 and M8 down here are used for the spindle, which is the router, and then the coolant, which is the vacuum. And I'll show you guys later. I bought uh, an oil mist system to hopefully install in there. Maybe it'll just be air because I don't want to get the MDF board all oily. Um, but beyond that, I think that might be it. I don't think I did dealt with anything over here during my initial setup. And yeah, nothing over here. So that's pretty much it for the ports and pins setup. Uh, I'm going to go and set up the ethernet board and put the, the breakout board on there. I might try and find some parallel port connectors. You know, I'll quick grab the the camera. So this, just to show you guys before I go off and do it, this board right here, you see those two parallel port connectors, they plug in, i spin this around, on there. Plug, you just push it, push it straight down, it'll plug in, and you can see these bolt holes line up with these guys here. So that's that's how the lathe one is, but I don't know based on my real estate here if I have room for all that to fit there or if I need to put this board, say, up like this or some other orientation or even, heck, take all this off and put it, if I have an, an old enclosure I can find, put it in there. But you can also use the little um, parallel port connectors, little, the ribbon uh, cables. Um, and I know I have them somewhere, but this one thing I haven't found yet, they could be down, this is my electronics area right here. I have bins and bins of cords and plugs and all kinds of things. So I have to go through that. If I need to, I'll just put this on here and deal with it later. But I want to get this up and running because I want to, you know, make some stuff for this. Because I got to make brackets for the motors and the ball screw. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I will show you guys that later on. So for now, this is the end of this video, and hopefully next video we will get into setting this guy up with this hardware and on Mach 3, and we can all, you know, make cool fun stuff. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time.